What's going on guys? Sam the Raid Man coming back at you today with another video. I know it's been a while. I apologize. Um, but today I've got a new promo code for you guys if you, in case you missed it. We've got a new shard event announced this weekend that I think is pretty special and I want to talk about. And then I've got a top five list for you regarding that shard event. Let's start with the promo code. Let me pull it up and double check I've got it correct. Yeah. So obviously there's a call of the Arbiter and those codes are coming out as with episode. But as of right now, there is a subscribe Move my mouse mid game promo code All right so subscribe mid game subscribe is what you should do for me because we are so close to a thousand subscribers and i would love to be able to join the content creator program uh for raid that's been my dream ever since i created this channel in october of last year so you guys the support has been phenomenal so i'd love you to subscribe to the channel anyways this promo code subscribe mid game it's actually pretty good you get like a decent amount it's a lot of different stuff but you get decent amounts you get 250 multi battles, pretty nice, especially if you're on mobile. Three star chicken, rare book, meh. Three day XP boost is not bad. Two energy pots um, or energy refills and 200,000 silver. So it's not like a ton of stuff, but definitely helps. You know, you can never say no to free stuff. I know for me on this account, I'm running out of multi battles consistently because I play on my phone a lot and I'm also running out of the XP boost. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my other account, and we're going to talk about the shard event that's going down this weekend. All right, we're back with the main account. Really quickly, I'm going to talk about the 10x this weekend. We've got the Fragment Summon for, what is it, Lori e, Great Hoof Loriaka. Um, so there's going to be a 10 time for multiple champions, and then a guaranteed Void Champion, which is really what we're talking about. But really quickly, let's just go over the champs on the 10x. There's a few epics. Um, the theme, I believe, is cleansers, or kind of cleansers. Um, but you could also look at the clan boss, a clan boss, demon lord, and hydro clan boss. The first epic is Trumbor, who does ally protection, increased defense on himself. Then there's the remove one random debuff from all allies. Solid champion, if you're especially early in mid game. Um, and then one of the best cleansers in the game, definitely in the conversation for best epic cleanser in the game, Knight Rev. I love this champion. I've used this champion for so long. Doom Priest. Passive, every turn, heals everyone by 7.5% of their health and removes one random debuff. This is huge. She's used in so many clan boss teams to keep you affinity friendly. Great champion. Great, great champion, Doom Priest. Another banger of an epic. A lot of people argue she's the best epic in the game. She's definitely top 5 or top 10. It's Ugo, the Hydra Goddess, block buffs, decreased defense. But the reason she's in the 10x is her cleanse. She removes all heal reduction and then one more random debuff and then heals. This can also be a revive if she's the last one standing, but that's kind of a break-in-case-of-emergency type revive. Um, yeah, there's where her passive is. Yeah, great champion. Not really considered a cleanser, but she does have the cleanse, and I'm glad she's on here. It makes pulling uh, Ancients or Sacreds much more convincing because Ugo is a great champion to get. The Void Epic, interesting champion. He is a cleanser, kind of, but he is another great, great Hydra champion. Inquisitor Shemail. Don't even look at his A1 and A2. There's no cleanse there. It's his passive. Whenever an ally receives a fear or a true fear debuff from an enemy, this skill will act instantly remove the debuff and fill the ally's term meter by 15%. There is no cooldown on Hydra. When you hit the Head of Torment that places fear, he does boost the leader's turn meter over and over and over again and attacks over and over and over again. And he enables some insane Hydra compositions. An amazing epic champion. Now, Keep that in mind too, because he's a great, you're going to get, you could get a great void epic just from pulling your voids anyways. Let's go ahead and get on the legendaries. First one is Sylvan Watcher's Elva, who we'll actually talk about a little bit. We're going to go over our, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. We're going to go over my top five Demitha clan boss teams, and you'll see why in a second. Uh, Elva, great champion, could place a continuous heal on the A1, uh, full cleanse. Places block debuffs and increased speed. This is a three-turn cooldown. She places block debuffs and increased speed for two turns. This is an amazing ability. It's great in clan boss. Uh, there's a few teams centered around her, but she's just great everywhere. Like a full cleanse is good. Like if you take away the cleanse, block debuffs, increased speed is still good. Together, it's an insane ability. Heals everyone in their turn. Places perfect veil. Speed aura in all battles. Like amazing champion. <laughs> Elva. I didn't I didn't get her. You had to pull 20 sacreds, and I did not have that. Couldn't swing that, but great champion. The next champion's kind of a a debate. 
when she was released to the game, she was so she wasn't broken, but people were just like used her a ton, and she was so popular. Now I don't see her much. I think she's fallen off. It's with her the crown. Everyone loves how she looks. I'm not as impressed. Uh, anyways, uh, AOE places leech places continuous heal on a random ally. She's basically like a solo person, and she's super annoying in the arena. It just takes forever to die. Three turn cooldown places increased defense on all allies. Also increases the duration of all continuous heals. Then instantly activates any continuous heals. So she's a great healer. She's just a support champion. And here's the cleanse. Three turn cooldown removal all debuff from all allies. And heals all allies by 30% of this champion's max HP. She's got a pretty solid HP. So you can do some massive heals here. And then puts continuous heals on. She's just like a heal bot. She just heals and heals and heals. But I just don't think... Besides trying to be annoying in the arena, I just don't think there's a ton of areas of the game where she helps you. Like, if you're trying to get to Faction Wars and she's your first legendary, of course she's going to help you. But, like, with me, I could pull with her and I would just maybe never, ever build her. There's just no point, you know? Versus, like, Cecilia, I'm building. Lord Chazar, I'm building. Krutraxa, I'm building. If not for, you know, because they would help for fun. And I just don't get that from with her. Anyways. Uh, the next up is going to be the Void Legendary, who is a great champion, and I would recommend building and pulling shards for her if you have them. It's two Hunter Rock. Basically, Doom Priest. Some people say Doom Priest 2.0, but realistically, she's like Doom Priest 3.0. She is like a top 5 to top 10 Hydra Clan boss champion. She is so good. Decrease speed on the A1. Place continuous heal on this ally for one turn, and a continuous heal for one turn on the ally with the lowest HP. All of her damage is defense-based. She's got fast base speed, good base HP, good base defense. This is why she's great in Hydra. She does hits one time, 100% chance of placing decreased attack and block buffs. And then she applies a debuff spread, taking two random debuffs from the target and placing them on all enemies. So you use this in Hydra to spread the block buffs, and she can be your block buffs champion. She also does a lot of other stuff, but that's why she's so good. But I did learn, if you haven't watched my most recent video with Astrolith, go check that out. 200 Rock can spread the bombs that Astrolith, Astrolith places, and 200 Rock doesn't need accuracy. It's a super fun composition. I would definitely recommend uh, checking that video out. It's one of my favorite videos I've recorded. A3 places increased defense and increased speed on all allies for two turns. Again, on a three-turn cooldown. The cleanse is on the passive. So Doom Priest is, you kind of just like take this bottom part out. Doom, Doom Priest removes one random debuff from all eyes at the start of each turn. Doom Priest has a small heal too, but then if to Hunter Rock, if you're under a continuous heal, she'll remove two debuffs, and she places that herself on the A1. So she does the, the Doom Priest cleanse. She also does the increased speed. So accuracy in all out battles by 70, phenomenal champion. But the main event, in my mind, is the guaranteed Void champion, who is, in my opinion, one of the best Voids in the game, and she's legitimately account-changing. If you can get the speeds required to run one of her teams, she will vault you so much higher in the clan boss. And I don't know why I'm up there. It is the Void Epic Demitha. 25 Void Shards is all it costs. I know Void Shards are not cheap, but if you're at like 18, 19, 20, and you can squeeze a few more out, I would recommend it if you don't have a Demitha. Even if you cannot use her now, she will be so valuable to you later. I would really recommend if you guys can swing it get to Mitha this weekend. A1 puts a shield on. This is really just a book sink. It just It's a waste of books when they go in here. We don't care. We want them here. We want them here. Sadly, for most teams, you need this. Um, the A2 booked as well. She increases the duration of all your buffs, decreases the duration of all your debuffs, pretty big heal, and then, um, yeah, kind of heal depends on how many of the buffs that are affected. But three turn cooldown, the reason this is helpful for speed tunes is if someone like RS or Tuhana Rock or Elva places increased speed, she can extend it to keep you going super fast. So that's why this is necessary. But the main event is the A3, channel the bloodline. When booked three turn cooldown, block damage on your whole team for one turn and a heal. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, but Roshkard is better. You know, Warcaster is similar. Helicath is better. And yes, Helicath is a better champion. I don't know if Roshkard is. He's more annoying in the arena maybe. But I think Demitha is for sure a better champion than, than Roshkard. It's not about the two-turn duration. It's about the three-turn cooldown. Basically, what this means is if you can get a team around her where if you're going three to one, so you're taking three turns for every time the clan boss goes once, then she can place that block debuff right before you get hit every time. And that's what she does. You build these three-one teams, and Demitha just carries you. Um, I'm going to go over my top five best Demitha teams in a minute. Got them listed out here. 
Um, but I also want to show you just why, just prove to you that she is so good. Because if you want a one key ultra nightmare, she has a ton of teams. Most of them do it fast, and um, most of them are full auto, which is big. So if you go to my clan, this is about you know 27, 28 of us that hit every day, one or two key. Here's me with my Infinity Shield team at the top, obviously where I should be, 495 million. Just put that on auto. But first team, second place, first team we see here that's a normal team. This is the Myth Fu. Fushan, Demitha, Tuhanarok we just talked about. Damage, which is Dracomorph and Seeker. Second team, we got a Myth Eater. This is Demitha Man Eater, 3 DPS. Got a Helicath Roshkar team. That's pretty cool. We got a, I saw this one, it surprised me, Roshkard Warcaster team. Shout out to Warcaster for me making some appearances today. We got a little shield team that probably got cut off early. They canceled it once they got the one key. Then we got another Mythfu, another Mythfu. This is a Helicath Demitha team. So this is another one. It's like, I think it's the Cat Eater or the Ninja Cat Eater. Uh, we got another Roshkard Warcaster team. Shout out. There's Doom Priest, the Cleanser. There's Doom Priest again. Um, let's see. We got a Maneater Warcaster. I don't remember what that one's called, um, but that one right there. Demitha again. This is uh, the first Myth Air team, which is the basic team that Deadwood first came up with to use Demitha, but this is replacing the rare Airs. Double Maneater, Bad Eater. Um, there's another. This is the Myth Ru Elva team, which we just showed Elva, Ruella, DPS, Demitha, Seeker. Anyways. Demitha is all over the place. There are so many different teams that you can use to one key ultra nightmare. So we're going to talk about my favorite, my top five. So if you go to Deadwood Jedi's website, we're going to go to speed tune list, click that link. Then we're going to filter and say, all right, we're looking at the best of the best. I want to look at unkillable block damage kind of falls under that umbrella. I don't care about difficulty. I want a one key ultra nightmare on all affinities, right? And you're going to look at this. You'll see a ton of Demitha, but let's go ahead and filter for Demitha. And we're going to pick out my top five. So a lot of these are similar, like you see the Myth Air and you see the Myth Air alternate, right? There's the Myth Fu and there's the Fu-less Myth, which is hilarious. I think Saphira came up with that, or at least he told me about it. But Myth Fu you use to take the stun and he gives you a 24% speed aura. So the Mythless Fu is you put another red affinity champion in there to take the stun instead of Ares. Let me go ahead and click on that and show y'all. So you put another red affinity champion to take the stun instead of Ares. Um and you just boost everyone's speed by that 24%. And so yeah, that's the Mythless Foo, which we saw one of those in the in my clan. Anyways, um, I have to reset that. That's annoying. Yeah, so let's go over the top five things that I'm taking into account. Um, highest damage that you can do is definitely a big part of it. Is it full auto? That's a big part of it. Um, and then kind of just like creativity or easy ease of building. So for example, like Ultimate Myth Air with 3-1 DPS is amazing. Like this is probably a better team than just the myth air, but this is much harder to build. Right. So you have to take that in mind. Anyways, the, um, first team or what I'm going to put in our fifth slot is actually not even on here because it's not a one-to-one -one, or it's not a one key ultra nightmare. Let me see if I can find it on the top page. I think it's at the bottom right here. It's the myth eater. This is what I give the five spot to. Now, the reason I like this team is because it's much more much lower speed requirements. You'll see a lot of the ones later have very high speed requirements. And this one's kind of just got one. Man Eater 286 is tough, but I, I built this for a, a client on my my takeover who booked a takeover through my website. And once you get that Man Eater 286, the rest of it's pretty easy. And the Demitha herself is super slow here. So I like this. Man Eater keeps you affinity friendly and that gives you three DPS slots. In my head, any team that gives you three DPS spots is just fun because I love testing out damage dealers and three DPS slots is, is very, very fun. All right, let's go back to the speed tune list, pull that back up. The other remaining four, and again, maybe I could have taken that one out and put in the ultimate myth air, you know, with three one DPS, but I wanna include that one for newer players, especially if you're gonna pull Demitha this weekend and you're looking for a team to build. So in the four slot, I've got the OG team, the myth air. This is the oldest one that we have, but it is a full auto affinity friendly team. You use Demitha, the rare heiress, who's so awesome, Deacon and Seeker, plus one DPS. There's so many great things about this team. Deacon brings you a speed aura, which lowers your turn meter or your, your speed requirements. Seeker brings you increased attack, which helps all four of them, plus most likely your DPS. Heiress brings a counterattack. You can put her in a toxic set. She does lots and lots and lots of damage. 
Also, one nice thing about this is the speed ranges are kind of wide. Like, that's 13 speed range. That's pretty nice. Like, on the Myth Eater, you need Man Eater at 286, not 285, not 287. So, trust me, when I when you build as many clan boss teams as I have, having a range is very, very helpful. And there's a range on all of them. Um, this is a great team. It's tough to do one key, but it's very, very doable. It's definitely doable with Ninja and Toro, but even with like a Annex, definitely doable. You just have to have good gear. It's an awesome team. I love the use of the rare RS. There are different variations if you want to use two Deacons or if you want to use two Seekers. I think there's even a high Katoon variation. Just check out Deadwood's website. Um, but it's the OG. It can one key and it's full auto. So, I mean, to me, that's good enough. All right, let's see if it's going to keep it up. It's not. Um, I might just... Yeah, I guess we're going to keep doing the filter to keep pulling up our list. Um, unkillable, one key, all affinities. Demitha, I know what I'll do. All right, in the three slot, we're officially in the top three Demitha teams. I'm going to go with the Myth Fu. All right, so we're going to open this link in a new tab. Myth Fu is awesome. We saw a ton of it in my clan. It's very, very popular. Fushan does a ton of damage, like a shed load of damage and super cool champion. A lot of champions or a lot of people have him and just don't use him a ton of places besides faction wars. And this is a great place to pull him out and showcase him. He can do some decreased defense for you. You've already got your increased attacks. So you just need to bring weaken in your DPS slot and you're, you're cruising. Um, his speed aura helps out a ton. You go very, very fast in this team. You can build everyone for damage. It is full auto. As always, most of these teams are full auto, especially inside my top five. ARS, Cleanse, and Debuffs. Fushan's going to be taking the stun instead of ARS, which is typically an issue with the regular Myth Air. It is just fantastic. It's, it's, it's getting close to the cream of the crop. Now, top two, I'm kind of splitting. I'm pulling an Ash, and we're making the top two two different teams. So you'll see here the Myth Rue Elva. And this is a team we actually saw someone in my clan run it. Elva speed lead. She's going to cleanse you and all your debuffs off and then place increased speed. But this can also be replaced by two Hana Rock, the champion we just showed, the Void Legendary. Now, granted, you're like, oh, Elva's not Void. Two Hana Rock is. But for some people, like me, I had two Hana Rocks. I could build this very, my variation, which I made a video about. You can check that out. It's called like new clan boss composition, Mithru Hanarok, something like that. Maybe I'll ping it in the description below. But for me, it worked out because I could use two Hanarok in, in replacing Elva, and that works great. It's an awesome team. I love Ruella. I particularly built it because I had a six-star Awaken Ruella. It's a lot of fun. Um, it uses a few little different champions, and the damage is pretty spectacular. I think this team has my clan boss damage record before... I built my Infinity Shield composition, which is putting crazy numbers up. It's awesome. Ruella is a cool, newer, niche champion that's so much fun to use. She brings her own decreased defense and weaken. Seeker brings increased attack, so you can just bring in like a Turbo to smack or Jintoro to smack. You don't even really need decreased defense or weaken. You can just bring someone who hits super, super hard, and that's fun. And it's, it's a great, great team. I did it again. I apologize. Please bear with me, guys. Uh, filters last time where this is for that was the number two slot this is going to be the number one in my opinion best Demitha team in the game and it's the myth buster i actually can't build this team because i don't have cardiel but this is not a team for the faint of heart it's fast there's not much range in the speeds there's literally no range in the speeds i don't think there's many subs you can make but it is awesome cardio brings in ally attack trouble brings in some insane nukes lydia's bringing your decreased defense your weaken and your increased speed for your team seekers bringing an increased attack cardio's bringing in some buffs trouble's buffing himself it's just madness i actually can't build this team because i don't have cardio but i did a takeover for this guy and i built this team and he did like 180 million damage my record is like 146 million until you know with an unkillable un team like 180 million and i've seen screenshots of people approaching 200 million it's bonkers it just it goes so fast everyone is just built to the nines for damage and if you want unkillable slash block damage teams this is the cream of the crop the best of the best anyways i've rambled on long enough hope you guys enjoy make sure you plug in that promo code please subscribe to the channel we're getting so close to a thousand which is so exciting um, i'm going to 
do my best to continue posting, uh, just barring some things in my personal life. But love you guys. Love all the support you've given to me. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you on the next one.